Hello everybody. In this video, we use uh, multiple servo motor with SPM32. Let's get started with this. The wiring connection is here. Let's zoom in. The wiring connection is here. This is the servo connector. This side is ground. The middle one is 5 volt. This is the signal. The, all the ground goes to power supply and also STM32 ground. All the 5 volt pin, all of them connect to a 5 volt power supply. We, it's better to give a separate 5 volt power, power supply. And the signal, we have to feed the uh, 50 hertz signal. I'm generating 50 hertz signal from the microcontroller and feed into the servo. There are 6 pins used for each servos. 50 hertz signal is something like this. There are tiny pulses. So 50 pulses in 1 second. That's 50 hertz. So 50 pulses in 1000 millisecond. So one pulse in 20 millisecond. That's how we got this 20 millisecond. So this 0.5 millisecond to 2.5 millisecond, this is how we control the servo motor. When we zoom in this part here, 0.5 millisecond is this side of the servo motor. 2.5 is the other side, it's like 0 degree, 180 degree. So in the Q by D, we take this one as a thousand counter period belong to 20 millisecond. So we need to calculate the corresponding value for all other uh, millisecond. So, so this is how we're going to put for, for the degree we have to put the corresponding value here. To calculate the corresponding value 20 millisecond is 1000 here. So 1 millisecond is 500. So for 180 degrees it's 2.5 millisecond that is we multiply we get this number. So 90 degree 1.5 millisecond we get 750. 0 degree 0.5 millisecond 250. This value if we put we can control the server. Now suppose if we have a degree like 117 degree somewhere here how to get it. So the way is here 117 degrees here. So 180 degree is 1250 we have to subtract this one that is 1000. So 1 degree is divided by 180, we get 5.56. So 117 degree, we need to add this number to 117 multiplied by this. We get 900. Now we open the Q by D and do the programming. Now I am in the Q by D. If anybody doesn't know how to work with Q by D, I have made a separate video. It's available here. Let's click File, New, STM32 Project. For the commercial part number, we put F103C8. This is the one for blue pill. Next. Name, I put uh, servo. Uh, let's see the clock configuration. That The timer clock is 8 megahertz. Go to pinout and configuration. And go to timers. And click uh, timer 2. And uh, clock source, internal clock. I am going to select uh, channel 3 to channel 3, channel 4 to PW generation channel 4. I am uh, going to divide first by 16, 16 minus 1 and then 10,000 minus 1. So we get 50 hertz and uh, timer 3 also, I am going to select all of them. So we got uh, four and two six pins. So actually it has uh, four timers with uh, four each. So it's 16 uh, servo we can run maximum. I'm using six of them. So for this one also, I'm going to change this to 15 and uh, 9999. That's all the setting. Uh, the internal clock also need to be ticked and we can click save. For simplicity, I have given the code in my website. The link is in the description below. This is the one. This is the key by resetting we have done. The code, we copy the these six lines to start the timers in the user code 2. We copy them. Go to Q by D. In here we paste it. And then in the while loop, we copy from here until here copy 
and then we paste it here. So we start the uh, timers for six uh, channels and then we set the um, pulse width to rotate the motor. We can save, we can upload the code. If your board has a clone chip, uh, it doesn't work and I have given the um, alternate method in the description below. Uh, click OK. Yeah, it's uploaded. I have uploaded the code. It's working like this. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, write down in the comment section below. I try to answer as much as I can. Thank you. Bye.